So we'll just drop those notes down a little bit more just to get us a bit more into the bass region. As you can hear, it's not very exciting at the moment. If we add a bit of our pulse wave into that one, as you can see, when you combine a square wave and a saw wave, you do tend to get quite a nice bit of bite in there. Let's get our pulse width to the point where it's giving us the tone we're after. As you can hear, it does give you quite a bit of control over the particular tone coming out of the oscillator. We'll just get some of the sub-oscillator in there too, just to give us a nice dirty sort of sound to work with. So we'll just filter off some of those higher frequencies. Add a little bit of resonance to that. And then we might just get the envelope to control the filter a bit for us. What we'll do with that, we'll get a slightly longer attack, fairly short decay, and we'll turn the sustain up a little bit. A bit more attack and decay on that one. Sometimes shaping new envelopes can take a little while to get them right. As we can see, that's now giving us that nice bit of movement on those notes. And with the filter closing at the, as the note continues, it gives us that bit of a squelchy sort of bass sound. So to give you an idea of what the unison sounds like, we'll just turn that one on. As you can hear, it gives us a little bit of a phasey sort of sound. Just bring our volume of that one up a little more. 